Ave Maria. It's Fry Roderick here for airmaria.com. We're in Steubenville, Ohio, with uh, Father Dom Calloway of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Good to have you here, Dom. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's good to be here too. And um, so we we heard that you had an um, incredible conversion at one point in your life, and that Our Lady had a big role in that. She did. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, a lot of people are kind of calling me the the poster child for divine mercy, uh, and that uh, Mary's mediation and intercession really is efficacious. Uh, now I, I'm a priest, obviously, but that also is because of Our Lady's intercession and. My conversion is uh, rather long. I'll give you the, the short version of it. I wasn't raised Catholic. I wasn't born a Christian, wasn't born a Catholic Christian. And my family was very tumultuous when I was a young man. Uh, my mother actually remarried three times. It was a very bad, dis dysfunctional family at its core. And uh, because of that, I really had nothing to attach, uh, attach myself to as far as a moral system. So throughout my uh, teenage years, I uh, really was rebellious, big time. And, the, of course, the public school system didn't help with what they were teaching me. Right. That we, no, not, not much help there, no. Yeah, we were, basically, I was taught that I was nothing more than an upright monkey, you know, and, and so I, I acted like one, basically. So I lived for my senses and, and all of those things. And um, from the ages, the years between the ages of basically 12 to 20, just lived a terrible life of sin in, in so many ways. Very, very far away from living in the light and living in the truth. But by the grace of God, after all of those years of just turmoil and dropping out of high school and, and all of those crazy things that I did, a lot of drugs, a lot of uh, partying, things like that, my family, my mother and my stepfather, had a radical conversion to Catholicism. Uh, I like to attribute it to my craziness. I tell my mother, you know, I'm the reason you became Catholic because I drove you nuts, you know. Uh, she says it's partly true. <laughs> but, of course, it was God who was leading her and drawing her heart to him because she had a very rough life, too. And so my mother um, just fell in love with Catholicism, and she brought along uh, you know, her husband, my stepfather, and then their son, my half-brother. I was continuing my crazy life. But, you know, as God would have it, because of the change in my family, um, the home was different, you know, uh, the environment. Uh, they were praying all the time, going to Mass faithfully and all these things. So it was just a matter of time before something happened to me. Did you participate in those own prayers at all? Oh, absolutely not. At that time, I was as bad. Believe me, yeah, I was really bad. I had hair down to my waist. You know, I was I was a real rebellious kid. Um, but my mother had certain things around the house that I couldn't avoid. You know, she tried to get me to go to church, but of course, I said, you know, you're you're crazy. Uh, at that time in my life, so um, at one point, after having just a rock bottom experience, and I had a lot of those. Um, I discovered a book on Marian apparitions on my parents' bookshelf in the hallway. And I picked it up thinking, you know, this is crazy stuff. What are they talking about? I read through the book, and it just captivated me. I mean, it just drew me in. And the person that drew me in was Our Lady, you know, the Blessed Virgin. I didn't even know who she was. But I began to just be so drawn to this person that I couldn't see, but yet was being described as so captivatingly beautiful and it was a beauty that wasn't poisonous, you know, because so much of the beauty that I had experienced in the world um, was not a healthy beauty. It wasn't a saving beauty. It was, a, it was an unhealthy uh, attraction. Very addicting, right? Or... Very much so. Very much so. And so I found myself so drawn to this person that wasn't God, but seemed to be so unique and so special. Um, and so I just devoured this book. And that led me to uh, read other books about the Virgin Mary what certain, you know, saints had said, uh, what the church, you know, was saying. And in my growing in my relationship with her, inevitably, she led me to Jesus Christ, and she led me into the fullness of divine revelation, you know, contained in the Catholic Church. And so I went through what I call a divine two-by-four, uh, divine detoxification is what I call it, um, of God bringing me to conversion through the Blessed Virgin into the Catholic Church and by the grace of God and His mercy, even into the religious life and the priesthood. Oh, that's awesome. And so the, um, Our Lady's purity brought you into um, a, a, a vocation of purity. Absolutely. And she made me, she gave me uh, my, my manhood back because I thoroughly had wasted it on the things of the world, um, on pleasures of the flesh, on material things, on all those things. But when I was able to have this relationship with her. It was her 
motherhood, her femininity, um, that really helped me to develop as a man. So that I, I do see myself now, like in that line of, you know, the great ones, as a knight of Our Lady, as, you know, militia, immaculate, you know, an, a member of the army of the Blessed Virgin. So devotion to Our Lady is uh, often considered to be uh, almost uh, effeminate or something, but you say the exact opposite, and uh, it's really done a lot to be, uh, to make you a real man, basically. Absolutely. I, and to my, you know, great surprise, I wasn't the one who invented this understanding. You know, I, I discovered that so many saints have been saying this from the beginning, basically. And I discovered in a book by Fulton Sheen, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, he said that Mary is the conqueror of the hearts of men, and her first conquest is Joseph. And I just totally continue in that line and give my, my manhood to her so that I can be virtuous, which is what manhood means. Yeah. Now, what uh, in, in a quick uh, fifteen minutes or so, fifteen seconds or so, what would you say is um, is the key to, uh, or, or would you tell the youth uh, today uh, who are were in your situation you, you were in? Mm. Yeah, and there, there's a lot of them like that. I would say the at the foundation is prayer, that we have to pray to Jesus and Mary, uh, to to help us to see the darkness and to surrender to the light and to find the our freedom in living in the truth. I know that's hard, but uh, there's no other way. It has to be through Jesus and Mary. That's very beautiful, Father Dom. And um, we, we, um, we thank you. We thank Our Lady for bringing you uh, to the priesthood and you responding for all that and um, this wonderful interview. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Appreciate it. God bless you. Ave Maria, Father. And thank you for viewing us here at AirMaria.com. Ave Maria. Ave Maria.